Welcome to late summer here at the west coast of Norway. This is Øygarden, one hour outside Bergen, which is Norway's second biggest city. In today's program, I'm going to celebrate food from the coast. I will serve up some fresh seashell and fish from the North Atlantic. I am Idrid Anjansen and welcome to New Scandinavian Cooking. For many centuries, this region has been an important trading center in the country. And people here are very proud of their origin. Since ancient times, this cold and clear water around all these islands has been a paradise for fish and all kinds of seafood. And today it is the perfect place to go diving for your dinner. And with a little help from my friend Alf, I will get enough fresh seafood to serve the best fish salad I know. Heik ceviche with local plums and herbs from the island. And I will also make a Norwegian version of an American classic, the lobster roll. But since the season for lobster is not due for another month, I will use the sweet crab meat instead and serve them with a Egaren Senta Daioli, which is absolutely lovely. Finally, I will make a fish soup from the coast with trout and freshly caught Norway lobster. And not all soups have a long preparation time, but I promise it will be packed with flavors. This is my first stop, and it's the restaurant Cornelius. Hello, Ida. Welcome to Cornelius. Thank you. And also the capital of the seafood of Norway. Oh. We have the best there is from the sea. Come on, I'll show you. Alf is taking me out to his best diving spots in Øygarden. And regardless of the weather, he does this almost every day. I guess there is a good chance for us to get some really fresh shellfish. Uh, do you have to be a certified diver to dive here? No, you have to be a certified diver to dive. Yep. But when you have the normal certificate, everyone, everyone here in Norway can dive and pick scallop. Okay. Or pick whatever they find. Yeah. I love it. So... I love it when it's no regulation. Yeah. I hate regulations. <laughs> <laughs> but then it is a lot of uh, scallops and uh, oysters. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. All my work is like a hobby. Okay, good luck. I won't be able to save you. No. <laughs> no, normally I'm coming up again. Okay, that's good. Normally. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> now Alf is going to dive, but not so very deep. And hopefully he will bring up some scallops or uh, oysters. We will see. When you go below the surface, it is like entering a new world. A fertile and lush ocean environment with clear water, large kelp forests, and an abundance of shellfish, like scallops and the edible brown crab. Wow, this is fantastic. It's a lot of it's, uh, crabs and uh, scallops. This is amazing. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Yeah. It was a lot of shell and a lot of crab. Yeah. And some sea urchin. The raw inside is the only thing that you eat. No, I just make a hole here with a, with a knife, and then I go in normally with a scissor. And I just open it that way. Mm -hmm. No, no. Oi, oi, oi. This wow. was a perfect. Look at this. This yeah. is one of the best I've seen. Yeah. Many people do that. So this is that. what you eat? This is what you eat. Yeah. And this is a perfect example. And you just take it like that, and you eat it. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff. Yeah. And I also, um, if I had uh, soya, just add soya in there, and and uh, you take the raw and dip it a little bit in the soya and eat. It. Wow, that's perfect. So it's a the really most perfect uh, sashimi you can ever yeah. get. Yeah. Is it difficult to get them uh, at the store? Yeah, in the fish market in Bergen, you can get them in. Yeah. yeah. But the normal stores, they don't have it. Okay. This is perfect for my dinner. Yeah, I can make you... everything out of this. 
From this bag, yeah. you can make dinner for 20 people. Yeah. yeah. So Great. here you are, yeah, from uh, Cornelius you so to you. Much. Thank you. If you want to go here, a guest boat to Holmen leaves every day from the city of Bergen. And the trip on the fjord takes 25 minutes. Yeah. Flott. Det hjälper dig. Vi kan ta oss samma. Det är dagens fångst. So this is the shellfish hobo. So I have a lot of scallops. They're huge. Oh yeah, they're really huge. Beautiful. We didn't get any oyster today. I know. So but we have it here. And this is Norwegian flat oyster. Yeah, because most people think that oysters are from France. But this is from Norway, right? Yeah, Norway had a great history actually with the oyster farming. Yeah. So now you're gonna try very good Norwegian oyster. Yep. Picked at Øygarden, just out of here. And um, you know the weather here on the west coast of uh, <laughs> Norway changing quite a lot. Earlier we had beautiful weather and now it's raining. And at Cornelius we have something that we call for meteorological menu. So we are oh. changing the sources a little bit accordingly to the weather. So when it's raining we have some heavy sources. Yeah, I use this sauce as coriander and chili and uh, soya sauce. So that will be following the weather. So this will Thank you. keep you warm. Oi, oi, oi. How many oysters do you eat each day? The oyster here, yeah, they uh, contain a lot of minerals yep. and a lot of protein. So I eat uh, more or less uh, five, six oysters wow. um, every day if I can. Yeah. <laughs> this is Norway. Yeah, it is. Mm. It feels like you eat the fjords. Yeah, it does. It's so salt and fresh and good. Uh, I'm going to make a ceviche for yeah. later. Yeah. So do you have any fish I can use? Yeah, we just got in a big um, deep water fish, yeah. uh, leasing, hake is it called in English. Great. So we have that, you can have that. Okay, thank yeah. you. Hello. Wow, look at this fish. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. And this fish is perfect for ceviche. Yes. This is a uh, hake, because normally it's a Mediterranean fish. Mm -hmm. Coming north here, uh, especially in the summertime. And the fishermen actually hate this fish. Uh, they don't uh, go in the fish nets, and to get the nice fillets out, you actually need to cut your fish nets to get them out. Oh, so, so how do they catch them? They catch them much of line fishing. So yeah. they're small hooks, mm -hmm. and then you get it fresh up from the deep sea. This looks so easy when you're doing it. Does it take a long time to learn how to fillet the fish? It takes some time. Yeah. I use 10 years. Right. <laughs> so you have to start now. Oh, I have to start now. Finish when I'm 40. This is perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, Enjoy. thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy it. Thanks. Make sure to cut the fish as thin as possible. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't look perfect, because the taste is, of course, the most important thing. Ceviche is actually perfect to serve as a first course, because it's light and delicious, and you don't get too full. It will be marinated in some lemon juice and some lime juice. So it will cook because of the acidics that is in the lemon and the lime. So it will change the texture and the color. It will be more whitish. The next thing is to use some uh, plums. This is Norwegian plums. It is super delicious and kind of sweet. Here you can also use different kinds of fruit. So for example, a mango will be perfect. So I'm taking the plums and I'm putting them in between the fish slices. Of course, you can just dice them and put them on top. So that was a sweet part. Now I need some chili. I'm using the red one because I love the color. So half a chili will do. And then just cut it into finely chopped cubes. So the chili goes on top. Just sprinkle it. I also have some uh, salt with kelp, finely diced onions, and then some dill seeds. And you can use fresh dill if you got that. But first of all, I'm going to just zest some lemon and a little bit of lime over. So the finely chopped onions will go on top. Not too much, just a little bit. And then the salt. And the dill seeds. And I also have an amazing herb, hogweed. It is an old herb and it's, it's, the flavor is so good. It is really crispy and kind of acidic as well. This herb can be a bit difficult to get hold of, so you can use other herbs as well, like cilantro 
or just dill or basil. And while I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that it would be nice to get some sea urchin to put on top. So I will go get one. All seafood served at Cornelius restaurant are freshly caught off the coast of Øygarden. Yeah, this was alive uh, two hours ago. And the menu is always different since it changes each day according to season and the weather. For freshness, the seafood is kept alive in large tanks until the chefs have decided what to cook. Oh, I caught one, actually. It wasn't that difficult. <laughs> Look at this. I think it's so beautiful. So I will cut this in two, and inside we will find some beautiful roe, and it will go perfect with the ceviche. And this is the exciting part. You have to see what's inside. Mmm. So this is some beautiful roe, and this is a delicious part. And you can eat it raw. So this is my take on a ceviche from a garden. I will serve it to Alf and hopefully he will enjoy it. Hi. Hello. Okay. Yeah, what are you serving here? Well, it's a ceviche a la Egarden. Yeah? Yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. And I see you also have some sea urgent on the side. I have, because it's your favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah. And I got some plum and some chili and some red onions. Yeah, I'm really, really Looking forward to taste this. Yeah. Mm. 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 Just the right amount of lime. Mm. This was really great. I could eat this every day. Cheers. Cheers. Here on the Norwegian coast, the fishermen use baited crab pots to catch the edible brown crab. It's a sustainable fishing technique, which allows small crabs and females carrying eggs to escape through the net. A new day at the south of Øygarden, the gateway to the city of Bergen. This is an adventurous place for a great variety of activities, with only the North Atlantic as closest neighbor. It's truly a great start of the day to slowly wake up here at Sotra Panorama Hotel. It is just fantastic. But chop chop, it's time for my next dish. And I will need some hot dog bread or something even better. More. It's early in the morning and I'm standing here with Marit, who is uh, the local baker. And we are making brioche. We ska lage en pulse på en längre fasong. Ja, det passar ju perfekt då. We are putting uh, those uh, long brioche breads on uh, a pan. Quite close together, because I want them to prove into each other. And then I will get like the soft bread that I can just pull apart. Mm. It smells so good. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> yeah, it is, really. Are you happy with it? I am super happy, and they are perfect for the crab salad. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Bye. See you. Hi. Hi. All right, do you have some uh, crabs for me? Yes, I yeah. have. Do you have something with a lot of meat? Uh, yeah, this one is a good one. Can you check if some of them are more meatful than others? Yes, uh, behind the leg here, they are soft. Yep. When they are soft, it's uh, less of meat. Okay, so you want them to be a bit firm? Yes, this has to be a... Mm, that's a good part. trick. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, how many do you need? Two. Two, okay. Then I think you have to take four. Just, Just to, to make sure. sure. Yeah, to make sure. Great, thanks. Uh, this one. Wow, four. thank you. Okay. Okay, then you will taste it uh, afterwards. Okay, Great. thank you. Thanks, yeah. thanks. Bye. 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 So I have this beautiful brown crab and I'm going to get the meat out of them and then I have to gut them. So to do that, I am putting my finger in this hole and then I am pulling like this. And here you maybe think, hmm, what can I eat? And actually you can eat uh, most of the meat, but first I have to remove the mouth and the stomach. And to do that, I am pressing down with my thumbs on this area and then I suddenly hear a click. Hey! And then it's very easy just to pull this out. And the rest of it I can use. So that meat that is left, it's safe to eat. It's not just inside the body that you can find meat. I think actually that the best meat is in the claws. Okay. And this is so good. 
Mm. Wow. And actually the meat is going all the way out through the claw. The best uh, crab meat you will actually find in uh, late summer or early uh, fall. That is when the crabs have the most meat and they are juicy and yeah, that's the time you want to eat them. So I'm making the crab uh, salad and for that I need one uh, shallot and I will finely dice it. I'm putting the onion into another bowl. This will be my mixing bowl. And other good stuff, I have some homemade aioli or mayonnaise if you want to call it that. It is made out of uh, egg yolks and some, uh, some oil and a little bit of mustard and some lemon juice. And then I got some full fat sour cream. This is so good. And I need some Dijon mustard. So a big teaspoon and a little more. Also, I will use some lemon juice, a little bit of salt and some fresh pepper. Start with a little bit and then uh, you can taste it and then add some more if you want to. Mm. So good. I got some uh, fresh herbs. This is actually the flower of dill and fennel. So I just pinch the top off and put it into this salad. I have this homemade brioche uh, buns. So I'm pulling it apart, dicing it in two, and then I'm filling them with this lovely crab salad. I also got some uh, marigold and they are so beautiful. So I'm just decorating them with some of the leaves. And now it is done. So this is my take on the classic American lobster roll. It's a Scandinavian uh, crab roll and it is delicious and honest and I can't wait to taste the whole thing. Hi! Hi. Mm, I wonder what you think of this. It is nice. <laughs> yeah. Really delicious. Really and uh, what is your idea to put the curry in the bread? So I hope you really like it. So just dig in. Okay, thank you. And you have to be honest about what you mean. Okay. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I'm happy to hear it. Mm. As you have seen, the sea brings prosperity to the west coast of Norway. It was the rich fisheries that made it possible to settle here and also what made merchants to come from faraway places to trade with the locals at the fish market in Bergen. Fish has always been important here, and most people were fishermen. So I decided to meet up with Björn Kristoffersen from the Coastal Museum in Øygarden, about a 45-minute drive from Bergen. Björn knows more about how life was here on the islands in former times. So now we are going out to see a uh, fish farmer. Yes. And that is, is the modern way of fishing. Yeah. The sea has always been important. If you go back to the first people coming to Norway after the ice period, they came to this area, yeah. and that was because of the rich fisheries along the coast. So people st start living here as, a, as farmers about four or five thousand years ago. Okay, I'm excited to see it. And hopefully we will get the fish. Yes, I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thousand of them. Okay. <laughs> We are going out to a nearby fish farm, Bloom's Salmon. It's a visiting center for the Coastal Museum, where you can learn more about modern aquaculture. Hi. Can you need help? Yes, please. So how many fish is in here? Here we have about uh, 100,000 uh, fish yeah. per cage. So it's a lot of fish. They're jumping a lot. Yeah, they're jumping. A jumping trout is a happy trout. And we're going to catch one. Yes, today we're going to take one up. Is it difficult? No, it's not difficult at all. You just throw some feed in and uh, that will come up straight away. Yeah. Woo! This is a beautiful fish. Yes, it's, it's huge. It's a beautiful uh, <laughs> rainbow trout. Yeah. Probably around five kilos. Yes. How do you see the difference between a salmon and a trout? Uh, you see the difference in the length and yeah. width of the, of the trout. It's um, much uh, shorter and much wider. Mm. And we also have these uh, spots here. Yeah. So the salmon doesn't have any spots? No. Okay. Can I bring him home? Yes, you can take Makes, him with you if yeah. you want. Make some no delicious problem. food? Yes. Great.
So I'm making a really good fish soup and I'm going to start with some tomatoes. I'm cutting the tomatoes in half and then I'm putting them into an iron pot. Use some good quality tomatoes because it will make a huge difference. And after the tomatoes I'm going to use some red onions and just roughly chop them. And then half a garlic up in there, one fennel. Okay. And I have some seaweed and kelp, and that will help to get some really nice flavors into the soup, like a umami taste. And then I have some lovely shells from, uh, from Norway lobster. You can also use the shells from, uh, from crabs or prawns. So all of this is going into the pot. And when this is cooking and kind of burning, it will get some lovely sweet flavors. And last, I will have some oil into it. This is about one cup or two and a half uh, deciliter. So I'm putting the lid on and then I'm going to do something really exciting. Hi. Hello again. So here you are. Yes, I am. Yeah. Can I borrow some, some fire from you? Of course you can. Great. Let me help you. So I really want to fry off the shell. Okay. Is it possible to get some more heat? Yeah, of course it is. You can pump up this. Okay, you can I do can it. Try. Yeah. <laughs> Just pump. Yeah. Here we go. So when I'm frying up the shell, mm -hmm. it makes the soup really like sweet and and the flavors are coming through so much more than if you don't. It looks great. Yeah. And also, I have something in my pocket. Oh. It's a paprika. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to burn it off. Yeah. Can I just put it in here? Of course. Let's see. I'll help you. Let's okay. burn it off. Yes. Let's get some more mm. heat. It smells good. Should we check out the sweet pepper? Mm-hmm. It should be done. It should. It should be black. Oh. And it is. <laughs> that is black. So now the shells are fried. Yeah. So I can put in some water to make the broth. How much uh, water? So this is 10 cups or two and a half liters. Do you got some coffee? You want a cup? Well, the soup wants. The soup wants yeah. one, of it's course. Just to, just to get some more flavors. Oh, Yeah. exciting. It's a little trick. Mm. And just a little bit, that's it. This is going to boil for about 20 minutes. So I'll keep pumping then. Yeah, keep pumping. <laughs> and then I'm going to make a grilled sweet pepper mayonnaise, or a rui, that is called in France. I'm just pulling the skin off, and then I am cutting it in two. And I'm using a small blender just to blitz it up. So about two tablespoons of the sweet pepper puree. And you will see this beautiful color. It's really good, especially with um, sweet peppers. So now I want to make some nice pieces from the fish. I just really thinly slice it. So I'm taking the trout and just putting it into a deep bowl. And then I got the Norway lobster. And it actually got some roe as well. It's green, it's wow, fantastic. And then I'm going to pour the hot soup over the fish. So the fish will boil in the soup. You can see the trout is uh, changing color immediately. If you got some fresh herbs, this is parsley. You can of course use it. The soup is now done, and I'm going to serve it with some local flatbread and with the sweet pepper mayonnaise. Okay, some soup, oh, warm yeah. soup, so you can get yeah, heated up. Mm. Yeah. Yum, yum. All right, just dig in. Yeah, this one is uh, to put on the uh, flatbread. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you like the soup? Yeah. You have to be honest. Wonderful. That's Absolutely. Really taste the way though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>
Thank you so much for everything here at the Egarden. It's been wonderful. You're Thank more you. than welcome. Thank you. That is black. <laughs>